We've just had the new facelift um, X7 in, so we're going to do our first quick look around the car. And to begin with, it does look like uh, the, the original X7, but this time they've really pumped it up. So the front, in fact, let's go back around to the front. You've got these new headlights. They look really mean this time. The fact that it's all blacked out as well makes it look incredible on the roads. I'm really a big fan of BMW anyway. Mm. The massive big badge in the middle, the big grille at the front. And the lower grille as well, like I think that makes it look even meaner, yeah. like it's low. This bit looks new, I'm pretty sure this is new, I've not seen this yeah. bit before. Sort of gives that. I don't. It can sort of gives that it's a big sensor, like mm. on a lot of the other BMWs. But I don't think that is actually a sensor. I think that's just part of the body works. Yeah. Are these are these meant to be the fa air intakes here? Because it look in the IX, yeah. didn't they have them? They have the similar de um, design of these down the side yeah. as well. But I really like it. Very cool. The rims as well. Black colour colours the black rims. It does look premium. It looks incredible. Even even the small details, like the little like the little M Sport badge in the middle there. I think that's really cool. Obviously, M Sport on the side as well. I like this bit on the windows. It almost looks as if it's got like a, like a window shield, sort of like over the top bit, but it moves all the way around. I mean, that's completely blacked out as well. Like you can't see and you can't see. Yeah, that's pretty much. Whereas really this true. one, you can kind of see a bit inside. Yeah, it's not as tinted as no. the back bit. Rails so on the top. The back, no one's going to see you at all. Mm. Roof rack rails as well. Brilliant. Coming around to the back. And you can see all the design in here as well. So oh, yeah. that's completely no. I love this geometric pattern. Mm. It fits with it. it do you know what? It really does fit with the rest of the car as well. And nice with the BMW. Because the whole car is like really designed sort of like with sharp edges mm. and hard angles. And we'll show you some more of those like geometric patterns in the interior because they've got those following through, haven't yeah, they? Yeah, there's a lot of them inside as well. I like the back. I don't like the back as much as the front. I didn't like the back as much as the front on the other X7 as well. But it still looks strong and powerful. I just think it looks a little bit too like. I don't know, the way it just kind of comes up here. Mm. I'm just not really a fan. It's just too wide at the yeah. bottom. Yeah, it, it looks have... so good from the front and then this just lets it down, doesn't yeah. it? So the back doesn't have as much of those geometric shapes as the front does. Uh, it still sort of has it, like the hard angles here, and I guess it's a very square bottom. But I'd like to see a little bit more of what they've done on the front, on the back, um, and follow the design full through. But it is still a really nice back. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of room in the back. Got to open up here, sorry. Sorry. Let's right. go around. We have got the back seats down at the moment. But if we press this button here, it should, in theory, bring everything up. And we can have a look how big. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe this slides back. There's a lot of details in it as well, like even the X7 on the parcel shelf. Mm. That's something pretty unique. Um, so when all the seats are up, obviously not so much boot space. And we have to manually be pulled up rather than being electric, which is a downside. Now, but let's, if we take a look, how much room do we actually have to get into the back? Nice details on the M um, M Sport seat. Yeah, uh, I love the, the, the seat belts. belts. They just come down automatically. That just seems so much longer than actually doing it by hand, don't you yeah. think? So you get the convenience of like of it being electric. But yeah. You're all stood here waiting, waiting for, for it. For a while. So then, how do we bring it forward? I guess we can bring it forward like this. There's got to be an that easier way. Doesn't really give us much room to climb into the back, though, does it? No. Or maybe. Is that the best we're gonna get? Is that how much leg room you get as well? So if we do a legroom test, yeah. you can now watch me awkwardly try and clamber into the back <laughs> of the car. Maybe it'd be better for kids, but there isn't really much. Those kids are going to grow up one day. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and they're going to need two cars then, mm. because there's a barely oh, any legroom yeah. in the back. I'm very Look out. <laughs> <laughs> what have we got down here? What do we need? Okay, these are transporting hooks, I guess, when you've got it fully loaded down. Cup holders at least. Holders. Mm. No heated seats in the back, unfortunately. You do, it looks like, have your own little sunroof bit, which is Ooh. very cool. 
Actually quite like that. That's a nice little idea. That's like nice. Here. I've never seen it all the way back before, like three. No, the three sections. It makes what it look a lot sit? longer as well. Especially yeah, it when does. Especially when you're sitting here looking down, like it looks massive. Let me go from the back and look where you're looking. Like looking oh, down, God, it yeah. really does look really long. I do really like that. That's a nice little, mm. nice little idea. Anyway, okay. Yeah. 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 What's she trying to scramble out of there? <laughs> getting in is easier than getting out, but there we go. Um, and now you've got the hassle of trying to put it up again electronically. <laughs> I'll leave that up for you. Coming round to the front, I'll let you come in this side. Right okay. Yeah, that's quite nice. Yeah, that this is where we can talk about some of the details. Because I absolutely love the front dash. I love the huge uh, infotainment screen. This obviously came in with the iX. Uh, now we've got it in the X7 as well. It's just massive. It's so clear. It's so easy to use. If it actually responds. <laughs> obviously, you've got all of your. So you've got all of your sections here. Everything's animated so well. Everything mm. looks clear cut. Almost iPhone level quality. apple level of quality like it's so easy to use everything's clear um if we can even put on the camera we can show you how good some of the cameras are as well on the vehicle uh, maybe i don't think that's exactly what we wanted but even that see how responsive mm. that is normally that would be lagging or it would be like sort of stage point by point but that is so clear like, it's, it's even got like the so shading easily. and the shimmering on the windows Oh yeah, as the camera moves, yeah. that must take a lot to render out. So it does. It must be a powerful system, definitely. Mm. How can we take a look at the cameras? This is a dash. Mm. Classic BMW multifunctional steering wheel. Maybe if I look on here. So there is quite a lot of widgets. Maybe this is a downside of it. Is that where the wireless charging is done? Yeah. Wireless yeah. charging cup holders. On the infotainment screen, there is obviously quite a lot of uh, widgets to navigate through, which may be a downside. Because while you're driving, I'm not really sure yeah. how you can... But what I know what about this is from what we learned from the iX is that on the big screen where there are big widgets, you can put the most the important there. Oh, so you can add them Yeah, so you here. can change these about. Look. Oh, okay. That seems a lot more... Yeah, so if you just want like your climate or... Well, your climate's here anyway, but... Say you want your music or your radio, the navigation, your phone or... Say a camera, like add widgets, like you can put your main ones there and like okay. swap them so out if I click add widget, what can I see? Oh, so you get like a clock. And I can take them away as well. Yeah. That would be a lot better because it just seems like there is quite a lot mm. going on. How do we access the cameras though? Maybe if you pop it into reverse for us. Just keep your foot. There we go. Okay, let me close some of the doors. <laughs> so obviously on the side here, on the side cameras, you can see the true power of the uh, infotainment system as you've got the AI rendered image of the vehicle here, as well as the real life footage of the camera. And honestly, it's very seamless. You can't see um, much of a difference between the two at all. If I click here, how smooth it goes from one side to the other. Like it's seamless. I'm wondering if there's a way if this car has 360 camera so I can move around all uh, of them. Panorama view. Because we first saw something like this in the new Range Rovers, didn't we? 360. Oh, there we this go. This is what we wanted. So obviously moving around. Oh, that looks so good. It looks brilliant. Okay, oh, maybe not that. <laughs> But I can move it around from place to place. Obviously, it's, it's touch screen as well as I'm using the controls down below here. So it is really put up to personal preference. I think we saw this on the uh, the Rolls Royce Cullinan as well. Yeah. But the X7 is basically a Rolls Royce Cullinan. Is it? It's the same sh shape and frame mm. and stuff. So it has a lot of similarities. It's all made by BMW. Tell them about the uh, feature here record new path. So, what it can also do. Um, obviously, if you've got a complex parking situation, you have to back up your car and weave it around a few uh, objects stuff in order to park your car. You can actually record that path. So once you get home, you can just hit play and it will 
copy the same path that you take every single time, every single day, uh, and we'll bring you into your space so you don't have to manoeuvre around tight areas um, and obstacles every single time you come into your driveway. No, I think that's a brilliant feature. I've I never do. seen that before no, in a car, so they've really thought about convenience yeah. and comfortability. Especially because it is quite a big car, so yeah. if someone wants an SUV but are struggling in the driveway, this, this takes away that issue now. Yeah. Cool. So there's more details in here as well. Um, this X7 is brilliant down here. I love that. And these, again, with the geometric patterns, all the fine geometric patterns inside the dash as well look brilliant. As well as the plastic that sort of overlaps it is also that ge same geometric pattern. So they're really running with the same yeah. kind of um, more postmodern look. But there's oh. the 3D structure overlaying the geometric like patterns, like the 2D behind it, like the design. Yeah, it's like so, a mesh, isn't it? Yeah. Almost. Like it's sort of like the modern day carbon fibre look. Mm. But also you've got the uh, traditional wood as well, which looks good. Well, it's actually plastic, but the <laughs> the wood finish, yeah. <laughs> uh, as well as the again geometric patterns up here. What yeah. I really like similar to these, the headlights, the climate, con the more physical climate control um, joysticks. They seem so like. They're so comfortable to use. They look rather odd, but I actually really like how they look. And I think it goes with the car really well. Ooh, I wonder what the twists mean. Uh, I think there is actually a little, you see the little um, sort of like, like a volume switch bit. Mm. So I imagine more to uh. the right is how strong it is that you can turn it left, it'll get weaker and weaker. So it's more of like a physical vent mm. rather than using it manually over here. But cool, very impressed. Up here again, we've got the panel roof. I'm not gonna open it now because it has just started rating in it. Um, but I'm assuming this controls all the roof up here. And I think we've also got little LEDs in the roof as well. So at night, maybe we can bring it in and show you guys what that looks like with interior lighting. What do you think overall? I am really enjoying it. I love that uh, they've upgraded it because I loved the I iX. I loved the entertainment in the iX. I thought that was great. Mm. I like the combination. They've included the new technology that's gone well with the most recent cars and put it together with the classic X7. Like there's still features in here that do remind you of an X7, like the seats, for example, yeah. the, the steering wheel. Space as well. Yeah. So they've made a combination of the things that are going really well for them at the moment and added it to some th to a car that is well known and loved yeah, well appreciated everything feels like good quality as well like i've just i've just grabbed this here and that feels like that feels brilliant like they, oh haven't, God, they yeah. haven't really skimped out anywhere no. all the leather feels really nice all the plastic even though plastic feels very strong considering that it is just plastic mm. um, should we test out the window wipers <laughs> i think we might have to and see where we're going there you go so Good. So they work, they, they work they really work. well. <laughs> <laughs> they do their job. Um, we don't have a clear view like we're seeing a lot on a lot of the cars recently. Mm. It is just a regular, um, when a, a regular uh, rear view mirror, which you can't really. I don't know if you can see there, but I don't imagine you can see an awful lot out the back from it. No. So it would be nice maybe to have a clear view when, um, rear view mirror. Yeah. But we have got a really good camera on the reverse camera. So maybe it's not too bad after all. Mm.